Hello and welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for our celebrity guest of the day. Now, this young man is someone who started with economics and some way along the line, he found his way in acting. We're hoping he'll tell us his journey through. He's an actor, a writer, a director, a producer. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome the amazing Paul Utami. <laughs> Good to Hello, meet you, Paul. Paul. How are you doing? Are you related Daniel. to Paul Utami? Who's that? <laughs> no, <I'm... laughs> oh, very interesting. Yeah. All right, so now let's talk about your journey from economics to acting. We're, we're seeing lots of things like and that. And he's an lot economist, of... by the way. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, what was it? How did you get into it? Did you stumble into it, or was it always the plan? You know, just get a degree, and when you come out, go and follow your your passion. Well, the thing is, truth be told, I didn't know. I didn't know I had a thing for it. I used to watch a lot of films growing up. I used to watch behind the scenes. I did a lot of study on acting and acting methods, but I didn't take it seriously. And I went to school, did economics, I finished. I was looking for the dream job. <laughs> and that wasn't really forthcoming at that point in time. And a friend of mine says to me, um, you know what? There's this opening in a production company. They're looking for writers and you like sports. So why not, you know, give it a shot? I'm like, okay, I mean, get paid to talk sports, you know, easy breezy. I um, take the job, I start writing for the production outfit, and then um, I think a month into my employment, they asked me to do a voiceover for a documentary they were filming. And I did it. And they kind of liked it, the clients liked it, and they're like, oh, okay, maybe you should keep doing voiceovers for us. And I was doing that, and then someone says to me, uh, maybe you should consider commercial voiceovers. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm not sure it will work, but I go out there, um, give people my demo, and they call me for gigs, and then someone invites me over to do an, uh, this thing, a, a radio drama. And I do that, and the person looks at me and says, you know what, have you considered modeling or acting? And I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> and he's like, no, you should give it a shot. And I didn't listen. Then a friend of mine who works in advertising says the same thing about modeling, and maybe I should look into you know, taking some headshots and doing all of that. And then the gentleman who invited me for the radio drama insists I attend an acting audition. And out of respect, I do that, and um, the rest is history. It's history. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you liked the history that you've said to write for yourself? Are you glad that you left economics or a more formal life for the life of an actor? Yes, I you am. Do. Yeah. Why? Why? What are the differences? What do you think has made? What do you think? is uh, making it better than the choice that I've made as an economist? Well, on a personal and probably emotional level, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy bringing joy to people. I enjoy entertaining people. <laughs> and um, it, it gives me some sort of comfort to know that um, even if I touch one person, I've done something. Uh, it's not paying off financially yet, but... Um, I like I, that you're very honest about yeah, that. Yeah, but I cannot think of anything I would rather be doing. I mean, at 2 a.m. in the morning, we're still shooting, I'm tired, everybody around me is tired, I'm half asleep, but when they say action, all of a sudden, I come yeah. alive. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, yeah. I, I understand. She's a fellow actress, <laughs> yeah. an actress as well, so she so, will yeah. definitely oh, understand. That's beautiful. What yeah. you're so now let's talk about your very first job, if you can remember your very first movie. Yes. Was it a feature film or a short film? It was a pilot for a TV show that didn't quite take off. Okay. Yeah. But for the film, I'm talking of movies. Okay, for, for movies. Can you remember your very first film? Yes, I can. Let's look at the journey between your very first film and where you are now. Yeah. What are the things you've learned? What um, was the name of the first film? I yeah. can't remember. No. <laughs> yeah. It was um, a, a small production somewhere in Festac. I was just happy to be there. You know, I was just really happy to be there. So, um... Things weren't going the way the producer hoped because it's <laughs> Nigeria. And, um, but I just, I was happy. I was happy to be on his set to see how things were being done. And um, I, I didn't really care how it was going to turn out. I just wanted to do the best I could. You know, and, um, so between then and now, you've done tons of films. And what, yeah. are, what are the things you've learned, skills you've learned? Uh, patience. <laughs> patience. Patience, I think. Uh, and um, to always have an appetite for learning. And in this industry, more than most, you're going to get a ton of criticism. So you have to be able to take all of them, the good and the bad. Sometimes it can get to you, but it's art. And art, invites, uh, art generally invites criticism from people who know and people who don't know because it is what it is. Yeah. So basically. All right. Now, something yeah. else I'd like to ask you is that some people are looking to go into the profession that you so passionately speak about, yeah. acting, the arts. Yeah. What would be tips to people who are 
um, not, don't have a footing yet because you know it's a very competitive industry. Yes. What would be the tips? What did you do that made you so? Was it that go for every audition, be respectful, network, DM that producer? What are the tips that you would give aspiring actors like you who would like to break into the industry? Well, the first thing they have to understand is that um, with every year, it's getting harder and harder. We're not, we're not like Hollywood yet, where it's basically difficult to get an audition. You have to be invited to get into almost any audition in Hollywood. Here, you can just walk in off the street, but it is getting harder and harder. Um, when I started auditioning, there were tons of people. There were tons of people, both people with degrees and blah, blah, blah. But there are even more so people now. It's about 10 times the number they were when I started audition, and there were tons then. So you can imagine, you know, there's an audition that happened sometime over the weekend. I heard there were like maybe six, seven thousand people. Oh, I think I know people. about that audition. You know, you're like, how? Where are these people coming from? from yes, outside Lagos just for, for this audition. audition. The thing is, this when I started, and I decided to, to to pay serious attention. I took an acting course. Okay. I did so that. That's one. Yes, I, I did that. I, I believe you should constantly be willing to learn. Okay. And maybe because it's something I have always been intrigued about. I read up on actors. I, I, I read about their methods. I, um, so you studied I, yes, mentors voraciously, from oh. voraciously. Yep, I'm constantly reading audition tips from backstage for different websites on Google, on YouTube, watching, learning, learning, learning. And um, one thing I started doing then was um, working on my monologues, you know, but now everybody's working on monologues. Some people have like 10 monologues lined up, you know. Uh, um, you have to also be patient and you have to be in it for the right reasons. Mm. Because a lot of people want to act because they, they think it's all glam, glam, glam. It isn't. It is not. It is not. It's a lot of tedium, hard work, a lot of work that people won't even notice, you know. But you won't even get thank, thank you for <laughs> You have to be ready to deal with all of that. And sometimes people won't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. It, it is what, what it, it is. is. <laughs> you know, so you have to build a thick skin, be open to criticism, constructive criticism, yeah. um, be willing to learn. In fact, you should constantly be learning, learning not just from the materials you're reading, from fellow actors, what to do, what not to do. Be willing to listen to the director, very importantly, and when you're on set, to your co-actors, mm. listen to what is being said and not being said in front of the camera. It's, it's very tricky because more often than not, I see a lot of young actors, I probably have been guilty of it at times, where you know your lines. You know your lines. And you're just waiting to hear the last line. And then you jump Then off. you jump <laughs> into your line. But... Okay, that's, that's, that's a long story. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm so yeah. intrigued. I've yeah. entered it, but that's fantastic. Yeah. So, guys, we've given you free tips without going to school. Yeah. You need to pay us some honorarium. Thank you very, very much. Very interesting. Yeah. I like that you mentioned that. And I also like that you mentioned the fact that acting is not as glamorous as it seems at first. Some yes. people don't understand. They think, oh, I want to become an actor because I either want to be famous yeah. or there's so much money in it. Yeah. You know, you have to pay your dues. You, you do. Now, I, there was, the first time I ever saw you on TV was a movie called Friend Zone. <laughs> it was very interesting because you liked this very hot girl and she friends on you. <laughs> yeah. I want to make it a little lighthearted in real life. Yeah. Have you ever been friends on Yes, how many times? In real life? Yes. No. Because I do not, as a person, believe in the friend zone. Hmm. Yes. Okay, we'll come back to talk about that. Yeah. Your latest project is... What Lies Within. Tell us about it. Um, it's a drama thriller. I was fortunate to co-produce. I wrote the script. Um, wow. Yeah, I co-produced with Topete Dela and Vanessa Nzediegu, who um, directed it. An amazing woman, and oh. Topete is an amazing gentleman. It, the film could not have been made without these two people. They were immense. I mean, for the last 18 months, they have worked tirelessly to bring this to life. 18 months? Yes, basically. The film stars Kiki Omedi, Ken Eriks, Michelle Dede, Ibele Okaro, or Denny Kerr. Um, Yor makes a cameo appearance. Yor! Yes. Yay! Yor was yeah. over at TV. <laughs> yeah. It was over at FL. Yeah. And Topa Tedela is also in the film with Vanessa Nzediegu and myself. Oh, you know, yeah. Well, and Oke okay, Uzweshi was oh. fabulous, yes. Great. Now, we yeah. have a teaser, a trailer, yeah. so people can see what to expect, you know, a little of what to expect when the movie comes out later yeah. on this year. But this is the trailer for What Lies With It. When we come back, Paul will be telling us more about it. Stay tuned. I know. I know everything. I know what you two are doing.
doing a little wow. sketch? Should I be sketch? No, but maybe, but we basically want you to be entertained. <laughs> okay. I love thrillers. Thank so you. So I'm really looking forward to this one. You know, it's something to keep you on the edge of your seat or, you know, who, di who done it? Like, yeah. who's the person who didn't do that? Yeah. So how long did you take it to put this film together? From start or shoot to finish? About Expo two years. No, like filming. I'm talking of actual oh, filming. Oh, actual filming. Yes. I would say um, we shot for um, 10 days. 10 mm -hmm. days, yeah. So let's go back to the two years. Yeah. How, tell us about two years. How did it take two years to bring this movie, to birth this movie? Well, I, um, I was with my friend, Timinola Debayo. Um, we're talking about um, a series of short films we wanted to do, and I had this idea for a short, you know. And I told, I told her the idea. She loved it, and we, we talked about it extensively, and we felt it was going to stretch. You know, we could probably do 17 pages or 17 minutes of film. And I went home. And I also realized I wanted to write a feature. So I started to write a feature, another idea. And then my system crashed. What? Like at page 25 or something. I just, I, I, I couldn't deal. I wanted to start writing it all over again, but I just couldn't. Um, I was like, you know what? To hell with that. Maybe <laughs> I should just write something else. And this other idea came back to me, like, okay, why don't you see if you can make this a feature? And I started pounding it out, and um, I wrote about 90-something um, pages. I sent it to... Hope you had the backup. You were saving it. Yes, this time I was saving it. <laughs> Another <laughs> tip for budding screenwriters. Yeah. Always, always have back up. Always, always have back up. Always back up your material. Yeah. So I sent it to um, Tami Lala, who loved it, by the way. Um, I sent it to Vanessa and Takwe. And Vanessa calls me after reading and tells me, it's really nice. I like um, a lot of the themes you discussed, but um, there's this, this, and that that's wrong with it. And I'm like, no, no, I like it the way it is. Yeah. And she's like, no, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Look at it again. And I did. And I asked Top Man, I was like, yeah, maybe some things should be better explained here and there. And I worked on it again and sent it back to Vanessa. So there, 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 you know, take <laughs> it. And she reads it and goes, okay, it's a bit better, but there are some things I answered in my head that I probably didn't explain. You know, and um, we worked on it together. Um, Topper chipped in. A few other people, Timmy Lala, chipped in. Okay, why don't you do this? Why don't you consider this? Why don't you try and answer this question like this? And um, we finished the script. And then we left the script for like five or six months. Then I'm in my house one Sunday, and um, a friend of mine, a director, CJ Obasi, um, he's visiting. And he's like, so what about that script you're talking about making? And I'm like, yeah, we're... we're thinking of doing it, but you know how it is, funding. I'm making excuses. And he's like, Paul, you're not serious. If, if you really want to make this film, go ahead and make this film. And that was it. All of a sudden, this, it was like if a switch was put on in my head that afternoon. And I called Vanessa, and I called Tope. I'm like, let's meet, let's just talk. And we meet like um, five, six days later. And I'm like, let's make this film. And they both were like, yeah. Let's do it. Wonderful. Yeah. And at that point in time, we, really, we had like zero naira. I was going to get a full Yeah. <laughs> we had like zero naira. But we, we set a deadline. We're like, we're going to go from that point to actual shooting in like 60 days or under 60 days. And did you achieve it? Yeah, we came close. We came very close. I think we started shooting um, around the 60th or 61, 62 day. You know, okay, so yeah. This is very good, very brilliant. A lot of the time, all we have are excuses yes. that are stopping us from where we are to where we ought yeah, to be. So yeah. you had no money we to execute no money. it. I was but terrified. you sat down and you planned yeah. and eventually it did. Sure, yeah. Now, how does it feel to be the writer of the movie and being an actor there? Now, there was, I, I know that writers are a bit yeah. stiff with yes. wanting you to touch their lines. They don't yes. want you to touch their lines. Yeah. They wanted to change their yeah. lives. You were the writer. You saw mm. the people bringing yes. your movie to life. How was that moment for you? Okay. Were you that kind of writer that like, um, actually, that's not what we said there. Yeah. Can you follow your script? a little. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is now. This is the thing. I, I I forgot to mention earlier on when I went to when I took an acting course. Not long after, I took a directing course, and I did both courses under Amaka Igwe, the late oh. great Amaka Igwe. Yes, yeah. and she was an immensely gifted teacher. Basically, you could listen to her for hours, and she always made sense. And she thought of something in, in filmmaking class as a director, that when you write a script, even when you write and direct a script, when you write it, when you get to the set, some things begin to change. And you cannot hang on to certain things. 
you have to let it go. So if you write something, more often than not in Hollywood, when you write, you're not allowed on the set. They don't allow the writers on the set because writers are very finicky. So even when directors write, directors have to put on their directing cap and, and take off the, the writing that would garb. That so difficult. Yes, it is. So I, I, she'd already programmed me in a way. So I knew, okay, there were things, that, there were decisions that were going to be made, yeah, yeah, on set that I may not be comfortable with, but the director has to do her job. But so. basically being open to change and yes. not holding stick yes. to what you had already written out. Yes. Thank you so much for Thank sharing that with us. Thank you very much. Thank now, you. in three words, yeah. when people watch What Lies Within, how would you want them to feel? What would you like the expressions from the movie or after the movie from um, Cinema Goers? What would you like it to be? Dazed and confused. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want them to be entertained. Entertained? I want them to... Um, enjoy, enjoy the film, it. the experience. I want them to be able to connect Connection. with some of the characters, right. you know, and please spread the word. When you see the film, if you, if you like it or it hits you on, a, on an emotional level, yeah. tell your friends to go see the film. Okay, yeah. so it's premiering when? On the 1st of September? On the 8th On of the 8th of September, yes, where? Small mix up. Um, everywhere, Every nationwide, cinema. yeah. Okay. From Lagos to Abuja to Asaba to Ibadan All to... Right. Yeah. And if people want more information, how can they reach you on social media? Um, I am at Paul Utomi on Instagram and at Paul underscore Utomi on Twitter. All right. Oh, and yeah. the movie, do you have a social media presence? For yes, the they can go to um, at What Lies Within Movie on Instagram. Okay. And um, the um, trailers are online. Okay. And all the info is on the Instagram page. And at What Lies Within, or What Lies Within the Movie, on Facebook. Uh, one question I'd like to ask you is that nowadays in Nigeria, a lot of people put movies now, thank God, yeah. straight to the cinema. Yeah. But once it's out of the cinema, there's no way to get the movie. Yeah. So are we working on that? Because usually what happens in other parts is I go to the cinema, so there's some movies that we wish we could watch. Maybe you're not in town, you yeah. couldn't watch it. Yeah. Then afterwards, can he, would he go to CD or would he go somewhere else? Yeah, and... that's the hope. The thing is distribution and distribution yeah. deals sometimes can be tricky. Yeah. You know, so if you get um, a reasonable distribution deal, then it could go quickly to DVDs, maybe online platforms, yeah. and people can experience it. All right. Yeah. Great. Please, make sure, please, for those yeah. people who might be out of the country but want True. to see it yeah. when they arrive. Thank you so Thank much you for joining us, Thank Paul. you for having me. We look forward to being at the premiere and getting to see it before you everybody so that we can give our feedback. We can yes. tell people to go and see it authoritatively. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have had um, actor, director, screenwriter, producer, model, producer, TV host, TV host, <laughs> voice over artist, voice over artist, yeah. Yeah, all like what they call artist the in the person of Paul <laughs> Utomi. And he is coming out with a new banger called What Lies Within from next month, 8th of September, all around the world, or not world, all around Nigeria. Hopefully you'll get to the world as yes. well. We will be going on a quick break. When we come back, Benga will be joining us again, and we will be wrapping up the show. Once again, thank you, Paul, for thank coming. You. Thank on you. On the contrary, Ayo, today we're supposed to be wishing people who are celebra celebrating their birthdays, oh, and then we'll go um, away. So, yeah, happy oh, birthday so to not everybody. Having Benga. I miss you, Benga. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to everyone celebrating today. Yes, and... indeed. It, today is the 18th of August, and today, Edward no Norton was born today in history. Oh. Now, he received an Academy, I knew he would know because he's an actor, <laughs> received an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in the 1996 film Primal, Primal Fair and earned Academy Award nominations for his roles in American History X and Birdman. He also played starring roles in the films Fight Club, 25th Hour, The Illusionist and The Score. Happy birthday, Edward, from all of us on Hello Nigeria team. Save us a cake as well. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, we'll be wrapping up this week on Hello Nigeria. The next time you see us on your TV screens, we'll It'll be, be Monday. on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Don't drink and drive. Stand up with them. <laughs> Bye -bye. To enjoy more of this, our get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.